way tonight. And if not, why not? They are playing that way. They, she really wanted to talk about the wits. This is a good ball over the top. The flag's up again. Offside again. And that's Morgan, who is in some discomfort after that collision. She and Barrios collided. And that's obviously not a good sign after we were just talking about how healthy Alex Morgan is from the sideline, indicating it was possibly serious. Yeah, it looks like her ankle got caught right underneath Barrios of Guatemala, and that's why she's in a lot of pain, and that was the injury that's been causing her a lot of problems. You can see her ankle just completely twist and wasn't even able to put any pr pressure on that ankle when she was falling down. That's a tough sight to see Morgan down. She plays in the NWSL for the Portland Thorns. One of the stars for this team. field it was not a head injury it was lower body right now the concern is for Alex Morgan as other players continue to warm up finally the stretcher and Morgan goes off and these two teams met and qualifying for the 2010 World Cup, U.S. won nine to nothing. They led six nothing at halftime. This is a totally different game. And what I'm seeing is true. It looks like Kristen Press is the one that's actually getting ready to go in, and Sydney Larue would go into that center forward, that number nine position, and Kristen Press would then come into the right winger position. Larue keeps it alive. Sinclair with the header comes down. Sent across the field. Jasmine Avant going to track it down. The former Portland Thorn. She played four games with Portland. Had two starts. And has started every game since she's joined Boston. Gets taken down by Marshall. Foul whistled on Portland. And behind the play we have an injury. Yeah, Jasmine Alex Morgan went to take a tackle on Alex Morgan and Morgan tripped up. It looks like it was an ankle with Avon's tackle, but we'd have to see the replay to confirm that. We'll see if, see if we can get a look at it. There she is coming in. Ooh. That left leg. Don't want to see. It was her left leg, and that's what they're checking out. And that's the danger of when you go for a ball and you, you kind of stick your foot out in between someone else's legs. You can trip them up in a dangerous way, and that twist of the knee didn't look very, very good. Yeah, unfortunately, we won't obviously speculate on anything here, but damage than earlier in the season but her teammates are, are giving her their best wishes and hopefully this isn't anything too too serious hopefully the stretcher is just for precautionary measures so Alex Morgan will be taken off the field on this stretcher and obviously it doesn't matter who it is any player you would be you know, unfortunate to see this, but obviously with the 
superstar that she has become. We only have to hope for the best for Alex Morgan. Maybe one more job for Alex Morgan and company. Hard collision outside the box. Morgan is down. It's a great weighted ball over the top to to Alex Morgan. Abby Smith doing a good job coming out, knowing that she's outside the box, can't use her hand, but catches Alex Morgan right on the forehead. It looks like their side of the head. That was a nasty collision. And I don't think there was any malintent from Abby Smith. Perhaps she was a bit timid in leading with her, her arm, not wanting to as he touched the ball outside the box. Smith certainly showing some concern, but like she needs to kind of keep her wits about her. They had initially added one minute of stoppage time, but that of course is up to our referee's discretion. I think this, this is where uh, the Orlando Pride though can be the most dangerous. Um, they Transition, they get a good ball from Marta over the top to onrushing Alex Morgan. And unfortunately, obviously, Alex is taken down here. But I think that's when they're going to start to see a ton of chances from them. If they can get quick transition, win the ball defensively, look to play uh, Marta, Sid LaRue, or Alex Morgan over the top, I think they'll have a ton of success. Sur le tackle, avec un coup franc du coup qui est, qui est relativement bien placé. Attention à, à ah, Périsset, hein. Périsset qui va le, le frapper. La nouvelle entrante. Et à bien suivre également les, les deuxièmes ballons. Espérie, ça va-t-elle le tenter directement C'est un peu loin tout de même. Ouais, elle a de la puissance. Hein. Ouais, C'était pour euh, Paredes, récupéré par euh, H.L. Laurence. Laurence face à Morgan. Oh, attention, elle a pris un coup, Alex Morgan. Les ballons sortis par Ouara. Ça revient dans les pieds de Delanois. L'arbitre a décidé d'arrêter le jeu. Ouais, le médecin qui arrive en courant. Ils ont l'impression qu'il réagit tout de suite en envoyant des filles à l'échauffement. Ah, ah ça a claqué. Aïe, aïe, aïe. Ça a claqué derrière la cuisse gauche. Ça a claqué ah, derrière la, la cuisse gauche pour Alex Morgan. C'est sur l'appui. Ah, ouais. On voit vraiment ah, bah, l'image. Euh, C'est terminé. C'est terminé pour la star américaine. Avec euh, le staff euh, Lionel, là, le staff médical Jean-François Luciani et, et Yannick Millet aux petits soins. Gros coup dur, gros coup dur pour l'OL féminin et pour Alex Morgan. Changement, changement. Ah ouais, elle va devoir quitter ses, ses coéquipières. Et c'est Elodie Thomas hein, qui. Euh... C'est Thomas qui va rentrer sans même s'être réchauffé. Quelle tristesse, <rire> quelle tristesse pour Alex Morgan. Ah, puis elle l'a senti hein, directement, on a vu qu'elle a mis la, la main à la cuisse. Ouais, c'est sur le, sur le ralenti, ça. Ces gestes-là, on, on sait, on sait que c'est musculaire et que c'est terminé pour cet après-midi. On espère que. Ah, il va falloir maintenant euh, ouais, on bien récupérer. Sera rétabli. Euh, alors pour la Coupe de France, à mon avis, ça risque d'être compliqué aussi. For the uh, women soccer warriors. Johnston, ooh, it was a full ball collision. Alex Morgan and Kamika Forbes. You could almost hear that from up here, Julie. The long ball from Julie Johnston. And a full tilt collision between Morgan and Forbes. Uh, not even seeing Forbes coming and came in courageously for that one. Gets her knee stuck underneath her there. That's how it looked and sounded. It was one of those, as you pointed out, Jules, where both players only have eyes for the ball. It was a delicious through ball from Julie Johnson, wasn't it? It was just hanging in the air, teasingly. And you could see Alex Morgan's left cleat getting the ribs there unintentionally. 
and pointing to her ribs to the trainer. And she was there just before Morgan, wasn't she? And she paid the penalty for some great goalkeeping work. In actual fact, Morgan. Uh...